Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess. Today I have my Happy Planner horizontal layout that I use for work. I'm going to be decorating it for the week of October 14th. Um, I am using a 2023 planner this year, so the dates in here are wrong. We're going to wipe them out and fix them at some point in the video. I'm going to use Live Love Posh Autumn Allure to decorate, and I'm going to use these very first stickers in here. They're so pretty, um, and I feel like they will be perfect in my horizontal layout because we can use this strip here on the right side, and there's plenty of smaller uh, stickers in here that we can use on um, the different days in this layout and it's not going to take up too much of the functional space. So let's first start by whiting these days out because we are going to need to change them up. And since I use this for work um, and I work Monday through Friday, this whole section here on the right side uh, is used pretty decoratively uh, because I don't need that space for Saturday and Sunday. So let's first start just by taking this strip and putting it down here at the bottom. I think I want to put it at the bottom. I guess I could put it along the side. Let's let's see I could also put it along the entire bottom of the page and like take the second one because there are two of these pages in here and kind of continue it now that's going to take out almost all of Thursday but since I'm redating this anyway what I can do is have Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday, Friday. I kind of like that idea. So let's put these pages close together and make sure they're straight. I'm leaving a tiny gap in between so that I can fit my scissors in there when I go to cut the pages apart. Um, but I don't want that gap to be too big because if it's too big, then it's going to leave some of that like sticky scissor um, or the sticky sticker residue um, on the page uh, where that like gap is. Oops, that moved right before I put it down. That's unfortunate. Um, we're going to probably have a hard time cutting those pages apart, but um, we will figure that out when the time comes. Now I have like that corner sticker or we can, like I said, just use this and kind of continue it. I think... I think we'll probably do that. Um, and what I think I'm going to do is we're going to start with it on this side. So we kind of have that same edge on the side and then we'll just sort of merge them together kind of somewhere in the middle. So I'm going to cut this just right here in the book. Where is my craft knife? Um, something just fell off my desk. I'm not sure what that was. Uh, let's cut it right about here and that way I can still use the rest of this sticker if I wanted to in another spread. So we'll pull this out. And we'll put this here and let's cut like around this pumpkin. Kind of make this like round. I like that sort of round. And I'm just going to put this down just like that. And I th think that that's pretty seamless. I mean, if you look really closely, you can tell. Um, but I think I did a pretty good job there. So let's um, go ahead and cut these pages apart. All right, that is a pretty start. Let's see what else we have to work with. We have this corner piece here, but it really is only gonna be good in this bottom right corner, so I don't think we're going to use that piece at all. Um, I did pull out Wrong Wrong, this Wrong Wrong Girls sticker book, and I was thinking that we can have maybe like a fall looking girl, maybe standing in 
these uh, like pumpkins like over here. We could even have one maybe sitting on a box. So just kind of looking at my options. I think she would like her colors would look good. Um, this girl we could have her if we wanted to put her on a box and have her sitting. Pretty much any of these girls would work. Let's do one standing over here and then one sitting on a box up here. Let's take her. Yeah, let's have her standing like right here. Now for boxes, I pulled out um, neutral boxes and jewel tone boxes. This book does have boxes in the back, but I like to use a double wide box. And this book, the biggest box is like a full size box. So I'm going to take a double wide box from here. I think we'll use this like dark chocolate brown color if I have a double wide box in that color. I might not. I do. I have a striped one or a uh, lined one and I feel like having a lined one is great for this um, for this planner because usually over here it will be like an overflow to-do list or like a brain dump and so having the lines in there is great. Now I want to pull this down because if we're going to have the girl sitting on top and I did say we are going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I really only have this space here. Hmm. Let's put the box on this side and we can have the girl kind of going in to this space up here on Friday. And I'm going to try and kind of line the lines in the box up with the lines that are already on the page. If I can, let's try and turn this. Just because I feel like it looks better that way when you can line those line those up. And I kind of want to pull this sticker up a little bit if I can. And we'll have it sort of layer on top of this box a little bit. So let's put this down right about here. Oops, I have to pull this part up too. Now let's find a girl to sit up there on top of that box and we can also maybe put like a little basket or something with her. Let's take like this basket and put it up there with her. If I put the basket with her, it doesn't look great. So maybe we won't do that. Maybe we'll put like a leaf or something instead. And I think I'm gonna go with, should we put her in there? It says time to wind down. That's kind of on Friday. I like that, I think that's cute. So we will put her sitting up here on this box. Oops. Um, I think that's, that's good. And let's take, cause right, I feel like that doesn't, doesn't look great. Let's take a couple of these leaves and just put them next to her. So we can put this one there and maybe even like, these pumpkins. I'm just gonna cut the bottom off and we'll put them right here on the box just like that. I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull this off just so that I can cut this white part off of this leaf just because they're um, overlapping right now so if I 
cut that little bit off, then, um, then it doesn't interfere with that sticker next to it. Okay, I think that this is looking cute so far, really happy. I also pulled the monthly Jewel Tone um, boxes because there is a green in here that I think, yeah, this green I think is a perfect color, uh, color match for um, the green that's in this spread. So we'll use, let's use um, this size box on the left side, but I'm also gonna take a header box and we can add that over here. Like that. Now let's put a box over here and we can put these little, this little basket that I had pulled um, before and we'll have it sitting on top of this box up here. Kind of like that. And we can even layer a box this color with that one. Maybe like this. We have this little quote that says farm fresh pumpkins. I think that's really cute. Oh shoot, this is Thursday and Friday, right? I keep forgetting because usually this whole space is decorative. So maybe we'll put this over here. Oh, we have a whole nother page. These would have been cute to use as like boxes. I mean, it's not too late, is it? I like this happy fall, y'all. Let's put that over here. I think I want it here. I think we can take this corner piece and I think we can turn it, right? Does that look like it's upside down? If we use the one with the pumpkins, that will definitely look like it's upside down. But I think this one is okay. Um, I mean, you can kind of tell that it's upside down, but we're gonna just pretend that it's fine. <laughs> I think that's pretty. I'm kind of feeling another box down here and let's use one of these, right? Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be fun to use like this? And this can be like a, I think it goes this way, right? This can be like a Wednesday box. And we'll put it like right here. Now, do we need to balance it out and put another one on this side? Kind of feel like we should, but I don't know if I'm gonna use this one that's like really similar to that or if we should use this one. Let's use this one that's, um, that's similar just to have a little bit of consistency on the page. Now, does it matter which way this goes? I kind of feel like it should go this way. Let's put it like here. Let's put some dates in here and then maybe some bullets. Um, I like to do that sort of at this point in the spread just because then I can visualize what else we need because without the dates there and without the bullets there, it still looks really plain and like blank in uh, like in a large portion of the spread. But sometimes once I put those dates and bullets in, it really fills up the spread and I don't really think that I need anything else. So um, let's go grab some dates and uh, put some bullets in and we'll see where we're at. I've been pulling out neutral dated a lot. And I mean, I kind of feel like this time of year, uh, the spreads are more neutral colors because it's fall. Um, but I feel like I have been using this sticker, this uh, dated sticker book so much. Um, trying to figure out what, which of these colors we want to use. What if we went like really light? This dark one is like too close to this brown color, but not close enough. 
and this um, like beige color I feel like doesn't doesn't really work with the spread so I think I want to do this like lightest color and maybe we'll use like the script font let's see do we have the days uh, the dates in here I said that this week starts on the 14th I think yeah the 14th so I do have these numbers so let's grab the days of the week oh I don't have them in that font we can do the abbreviated ones or we can do the stacked ones and if I don't like them stacked I guess I could cut them apart let's see I've been doing this a lot with the months but I haven't done this with the days of the week but I think that it'll, it'll work fine it's just going to take a little bit of extra time There, I think that that works. So this is gonna take me a minute to like cut these all apart and put them down. So I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be right back. I got all of the days cut apart and put in there. Now let's just put the dates in. So we're starting with the 14th. And we have the 15th. The 16th. Seventeenth and eighteenth. And now for the bullets. So both of these books that I used, or I should say neither of these books that I used, um, have <laughs> bullets in them. So maybe we either won't use bullets at all, or actually, the green in this book is pretty close to the green that I use. So let's take the bullets from here. And I kind of feel like green would be a good choice um, anyway, just because there's not a lot of the green on the page. So I'm going to just put in, I think, two bullets each day. And I like to put the bullets in more just for color and um, aesthetics. I will write on um, each line in here and, um, you know, still utilize all of the space in here functionally. But I just like how it looks um, putting, the, putting the bullets in here. And if I put a bullet on every day, these bullets are pretty small, so I could probably get away with it. But oftentimes the bullets are bigger and I feel like it looks really crowded and it could be a little bit like overwhelming to have um, that many bullets in here so I like how it looks with two um, sometimes I'll put three now I just want to get an October sticker and what I think I'm going to do is white this out here and since we already have this Monday in this same color, uh, if I put the October there, I feel like it's going to be a bit much. So maybe we'll put like a floral or some leaves or something up there like decorative. And I can put October in the center and maybe a 2024 on that side. So let's find an October. Here is the October in that same font and that same color. We're just going to need a cut it apart just like we did with the days of the week and we'll put this right in the center or I guess as close to the center as I can get eyeballing it and let's grab a 2024 just to balance out the top of the page I also have been trying to use up these 2024 uh, stickers because 2024 is coming to an end and pretty soon I won't be able to use them at all. So we're going to use them now while we can. All right, now I wanted to put something to cover up this um, whiteout. I'm gonna see if I can move this sticker, if it will cooperate to pull it up because I'm gonna pull it up to the very top of the page. Uh, that way it won't look so out of place when I put something like up here in the top on that side. 
So let's pull this one up. And we'll lay it back down just in like the very corner of the page. Okay, let's find something to go on that side. And I think we want something like floral, right? Decorative. Uh, actually, we could even use this pumpkin here. I don't know that it's gonna be big enough. It's going into that Monday a little bit too, so I'm gonna just cut some of the white off of here to buy me a little bit of extra space. And then I might need to Let's see, I might need to pull it um, up just a little bit higher and cut just a tiny, tiniest bit off of the top here just so that we don't cover up that Monday. All right, that's cute. Let's add like a leaf or something to kind of cover up the rest of that white out. And again, just going to trim a little bit of the white part off just so that it's going to layer a little bit better. Layering paper stickers is kind of tough. It's a lot harder than layering clear stickers together. I think that looks really cute, though. My page is kind of curling on this side because I, when I put that sticker down, I feel like I pulled it a little bit too tight and it's kind of curling my page. Um, I think this is looking super cute. Let's put maybe a couple more leaves up here at the top. And then I think we might be calling it. Take some of these like leaves and pumpkins that are like already cut in the book. I think I put those down crooked, so we're just gonna cut that white part off of the sticker. We have a couple like really small leaves. Let's put those like over here. Oops, have a little sticker bit that stuck to that one. I'm gonna move these, or maybe just one of these, up here and put this one down here. And let's reposition this one too. All right, we need a little something up here like this. I'll just trim the excess off of that. And I feel like this scrap is a little too tiny to do much with. So I don't think we're going to use that. I wanna put something right here. And I want it to be more of like an orangey color. How about these? couple more to put up here in the top. There's another one of these leaves. And how about this green pumpkin? What do we think? I feel like it looks pretty good and pretty full. I don't really know that there's much else we can add. I can put like a little 
pumpkin or leaf or something sitting on this box maybe. How about we put this little pumpkin right here. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I kind of want to move this down a little bit. And we can fill this space in with something. Maybe like this. I'm gonna cut just enough off of here to make it uh, like flat to line up here. Okay, I think I like how that looks. It fills this space in a little bit more. Um, and I think that this one is all set. This is my horizontal layout for the week of October 14th. To decorate it, I used Autumn Allure from Live Love Posh. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.